In this video, we will learn how to use private resources to close auto close file in Java. We will write a program which will automatically close the file after it is no longer needed. First, I will import Java IO package. And then in our main function, we will check if the user supplied the file name as an argument to our program. To check that, we are going to use if statement, then args dot length. it's not equals to one we are going to print the usage message for the user here we can use system.out.print line to print the message system.out.print line and inside the message we can print the usage our program name that is auto close file followed by file name close file then the file name and if we don't have any file name then we are going to return and exit the program if everything is okay then we are going to use try with resources statement to open a file then automatically close it when the try block is left so in our try block and you try and create an object of file input stream file input and then new file input stream and we need to pass in the file name which will be in our args array first element that will be args and zero and then start and end of our try block and then we are going to add catch and inside catch i will catch exception for simplicity i'm just gonna catch exception it may throw file not found exception you might want to catch that one for now I will use this one and also will print stack trace e dot print stack trace and now we have our file input stream object we can use do while loop to read the file I'm going to add do do and 
and inside do I'm going to read call read function of file input stream I also need a int variable here I will define I will call it in and over here and now we'll call file inputs method read and save in in our in variable then I will check if in or until uh, in is not equals to minus one we will print the value of in as a character so it's like if in not equals minus one minus one mean we read the end or we are not getting any content back so nothing to read over here this going to add system system dot out dot print line if we are getting some content we need to convert into char or character car and cast it the value of in and then semicolon and then in while we are going to check if in not equals to minus one then we need to keep on looping and we need semicolon at the end of this while our main focus is over here in this try inside it we declares a variable of type file input stream the variable name is file input this is local to the try block so it is created in the try block so when the try block exists the stream associated with this file input is automatically closed you don't need to call close explicitly which means you can forget to close the file and it will not give you any issue this is the main advantage of using the try with resources to keep on learning please subscribe to my youtube channel Keep supporting me and thank you for watching.